In this video, we're going to take a first look at buttons in Bootstrap. And of course, buttons are very important to your web page. They are what the user usually sees when they need to click on something. So Bootstrap provides very nice classes that you can call to display some very nice buttons. So we're going to examine those in this video. The first point I want to make is that you can create buttons on three different types of HTML tags. The button element, the anchor element, and the input element. We're going to go ahead and work against the input element, but again, you can use them with the button and anchor tags. So here you can see I've defined a very basic button. And of course, we set the type to button, and here's the Bootstrap class that we're going to call. It's called BTN, and that's pretty much the format that you use for all Bootstrap buttons. So this will give you the most basic button. Now, if you're following along, you may want to go ahead and add this to your style sheet. Use the type selector input and add a margin of 5 pixels, and that way our buttons aren't crunched right up in the corner. So that's what I added there. But again, we're going to go ahead and call this very first Bootstrap button. So let's go ahead and load up our page. And there you can see we've got a default button. Not much to this, just a very basic button. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this line. And we're going to do that several times in this video because we're going to create several different buttons. So the first class that we want to call is the default button. And that's just going to be simply btn hyphen default. That's it. So this will give us the default button. So let's go ahead and refresh our page over here. And as you can see, here is the default button class. And it adds a little bit more. You can see we've got a border now. We've got some shading. And if we put the cursor over the submit button, we get a gray background. So it's flipping the background. So that's a lot nicer, as you can see. Now, Bootstrap also provides a whole different number of classes. These ones I'm going to show you next are basically color. So if you want a different color, you can call that class instead. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this several times over. I think we need, I think there's seven of these. So let's do this seven times. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill all of these different classes in right here. There is a primary button that you can call. And you'll see these in a moment. You'll see that they're just really different colors. So don't worry so much about the name. You just want to pay attention to the color. And maybe that's the color you want for your button. Um, there's a success one. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and save this and let's refresh our page over here. And there you can see we've got all these different colors. The primary button is this navy blue. The success button is the green. And actually later on when we fool around with JavaScript, we'll actually flip the color of these buttons. So maybe what we'll do is we'll have two different types. So for instance, maybe we'll have the submit button this gray. And then when you hit it, it'll turn green. So you can also use these buttons with JavaScript. But you can also just use them on your web page if you like the color itself. There are many different ways you can use these bootstrap classes. Okay, so that's an initial look at the buttons. Now let's take a look at some different things you can do with some of these bootstrap button classes. And they have a lot of cool features that you can use. Now the first thing we're going to do is talk about the size of the buttons themselves. There are four different sizes. There is extra large, medium, small, and extra small. The default is medium size. So that's what we have right here. But as I said, you can change these as well. So let's go ahead and we'll create another button here. And let's do it for the uh, primary button. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste this down here. Let's go ahead and we're going to create a larger button. So we'll create a larger sized button. And you can do that off the first class that we call this BTN. So you just say hyphen LG, and that will create a larger sized primary button. Now, if you wanted a smaller button, you would just put SM here instead of LG, but we're gonna go ahead and create a larger button. So let's see what we get here. Let's refresh our page. And there you can see, look, we've got a larger primary button. Now, as you know, buttons by default are inline elements. So you can see these are all in line. But what if you want the button to stretch across the entire page? What if you want it to be a block level element? Well, you can do that as well. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this. Let's go right down here. And we're just going to go ahead and call another class. You see how Bootstrap works? You're just calling classes. That's why it's so nice, and that's why it's so popular. A lot of people like to use Bootstrap because it's very easy. You're just calling classes. And in this case, we're going to call the btn-block class. That's all we do. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page. And there you can see, look at that. This stretches now all the way across the page. So that's something you can do as well. 
Now, what if you want an active button and a disabled button? Well, let's go ahead and first start with active. And we'll go ahead and just copy and paste this last button we did. And what we're gonna do is type in the keyword active. So we're gonna get rid of the block. And let's first go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page. And there you can see we've got an active button. Now I want you to notice the difference between this primary button and this one. Notice this is a little bit darker. So that's to signify that this is more of an active button. So again, you can see this is a little bit darker. Other than that, it's pretty much the same other than it's sort of giving you more of an active feel. I guess that's the way I want to put it. Now what I really want to show you is what a disabled button looks like. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this line. And what we're going to do is just type in the word disabled. And let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page. Now notice this, when I hover over this, no effect. Take a look at that. This button is completely disabled. Okay, we're gonna continue on with buttons in the next video.